the day Jesus arrived on a donkey. Jesus told his friends, the disciples, that they all had to go to the capital city called Jerusalem. When they got near to the city, he sent two of his disciples on ahead and he told them to go to a house where they would find a young donkey. Untie it and bring it here to me, he said. If anyone asks you why you're doing this, tell him that the master needs it and he will send it back soon. So the disciples went ahead into the town and they found a donkey tied in the street near the door of a house and they untied it just as Jesus said. Some people were standing there and asked, what are you doing? Why are you untying that donkey? followers answered the way that Jesus told them to answer and the people let them take it away and they brought the donkey back to Jesus. The disciples put their coats on the donkey and Jesus sat on it. Some of the people were walking ahead of Jesus and everyone was very excited. Some people put their coats down in the road and cut branches of the palm trees off the trees to make the road smooth just like they would for a king. And all of them were shouting. Praise God, they said. Bless the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise to God in heaven. Hello, I'm sitting out here in my garden, looking at all the new things that have sprung up in the last few weeks. These came from nowhere. I didn't know they were going to come. They were a real surprise when I saw them one day when I drove back into my house. And they're really colourful. Have you found some surprising things outside when you've been going for your walks or in your garden or out of your window? This week with Easter, there are lots of surprises. And one of them is that Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. Now, firstly, I want to tell you something. My dad is from Northern Ireland and he says donkey. It's really funny. Every time he says donkey, I want to laugh. But whether you say donkey or donkey, it's still a bit strange to ride into a city on top of one, especially if, like Jesus, Everyone expects you to be this mighty, powerful warrior. You see, Jesus had this reputation. He'd been doing these amazing things for three years, healing people and teaching people, and loads of people had started following him. So by the time he got to Jerusalem, his reputation had gone before him and they were expecting him. They'd heard of this teacher, this person who was going to help them free them from the people that were keeping them captive. And then he rode in on a donkey because Jesus wasn't the normal kind of warrior or king or leader. He was a leader who loved, who was gentle and humble. And that meant that he didn't use all the power he had and all the people that followed him to get what he wanted. He wanted to serve people. So when he rode in on a donkey, he was saying something about who he was, that he didn't want to be put up high on a throne and given lots of wealth and money and treasures. He wanted to serve people. That's what being a loving leader is. And he wanted us to follow his example, not with riding on donkeys, but in making sure that when we have some power or responsibility, we use it well to look after each other, to be kind. Now, I wonder what you think of that story. What do you think everyone would have been expecting when they'd heard of this person, Jesus? Who do you think they were looking for? Maybe someone in a carriage or on a tank. What do you think? And what do you think they would have felt, the crowds who were waiting, waving palms and putting their clothes down? What do you think they thought when they saw Jesus? It's an interesting story, isn't it? It's full of surprises. 
We're going to travel through this journey all the way from Palm Sunday to Easter Sunday in the next few videos. For now, I want you to think about what you'd like to say thank you to God for. It's good to do that as often as we can. So I want you to think of something that you want to say thank you to God for. And now I want you to think of something you'd like to ask for. Maybe you'd like to ask God to help you with something. Or maybe you'd like to pray for someone else. I'm sure you can think of someone who might just need some help from God. Who would you like to pray for? Okay, so after you finish this video, maybe you'd like to go and sit quietly and talk to God. You don't need any fancy words at all. You just close your eyes and concentrate because God is with you always and is always listening and wants to hear you talk to him. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.